Hi everybody, it's Cody at Cody's Reading Time. Today I'm posting a story that I wrote myself. Um, it's a kind of children's story. Um, I think that the message can can uh, translate to all ages. Um, it's a very personal story to me. Uh, it's kind of a homage to my uh my past one of my past best friends so i hope that you enjoy this short story called a dog named grizz a brother and sister were given a puppy by their mother one day and they were so happy that they danced and played every day with their new friend until an entire year had gone by on their dog's first birthday they realized that they had never given their friend a name, and because he was so large now and covered in a thick coat of fur, they named him Grizzly Bear, calling him Grizz for short. As soon as the name left their mouths, Grizz began to speak, and he said, Climb onto my back, for I'm very strong, and will run through the town and be very happy. So for three years, they would climb on Grizz's back whenever they wanted to play, and he would run them through the town, and they were very happy. On Grizz's fourth birthday, he again stated that he wished them to climb on his back so that he could run and play and be very happy. But the brother and sister noticed that the running was slower than the previous two years. And each year, until Grizz's eighth birthday, the running became slower and slower. Grizz's eighth birthday came, and when it came for him to announce the next year's games, he could only say that he wished for them to climb on his back, and he would walk them around town so that they could be happy. On his ninth and tenth birthday, he asked the children to be happy because he could still walk beside them. On his 11th birthday, Grizz could no longer walk with the children and said that it made him sad because he could not make them happy. And so the brother and sister said to him, you have for these past 11 years, ran with us on your back for eight, walked with us on your back and beside us for three, and now it's our turn to carry you. And with that, the sister wheeled over a large wagon and helped Grizz into it and ran him down the street so that they could show Grizz how happy he made them feel for all of those years. All right, guys, that's the end of my story. Um, I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, uh, I enjoyed writing it. Um, and reading it to you guys. It's kind of a rough little story, but um, I have other ones that I might share periodically on this channel when I'm not busy reading already printed books and stories for you. Um, but check out the other content that I have on my channel um, and uh, get lost in a story with me every once in a while. Um, I enjoy posting these things for you and I I uh, would love to communicate with you guys and um, really kind of create a community of book lovers right here on YouTube. So that's the goal. That's the plan. I hope you enjoyed today's story. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.